So welcome everyone Hello. to Open Gundam Style. Open Gundam Style. Yeah. <laughs> so we're talking here about Gundam. We're building Gundam plastic model kits. Hmm. Should be a lot of fun. Gundam plastic model kits. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. So we have two here that we're going to be assembling. So we've got here the uh, Build Strike Gundam full package from um, uh, uh, Gundam Build Fighters. So that'll be mine. And Evan here has got the Unicorn Gundam Banshee Norn Destroy Mode. Destroy oh. Mode! Oh, there we go. <laughs> Very nice. So we're going to start here. I built a couple of these in past. Um, this will be Evan's first time. So we're going to go in here. We're just going to go at it as we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Oops. We got the lid. The lid. I'm going to see if I can put that up there and it won't fall over. And what yeah. comes in these boxes? I see so, an instruction kit. An instruction kit. This is one of the nice things is that it's in sort of a universal layout. So we have to go through that one by one and uh, step by step. Step by step. Uh, it has some, some nice flashy pictures, obviously, of fully assembled Gundam Ooh. model kits with uh, um, you know color applied and neat stuff applied. Oh. Uh, this is the, the full instructions which seems a little uh intimidating sometimes but it's not too bad it's in japanese <laughs> well it's in japanese but you'll notice that each of the steps is numbered one two three four five and then each part is also numbered i can follow i can follow these pictures there we go so um to that point so you also get different sheets of these plastic pieces and each one of these has a letter on them so this is, and we can see if we look in here, but here are all of our bits. So let's see here. This is, I should probably get that out so I can tell. Now, so, now comes the time where it sounds like we're eating chips. Right. <laughs> so this will have somewhere on here its letter, usually. There it is, C. Uh, this is G1. So each of these frames, each of these mm -hmm. frames has has a letter. A letter um, on be, it. Uh, see that this sort of tag right here. Uh huh. The and, large uh, tag. So I look for the large look tag. For the large tags. And the letter. So yep. something like yes, that. This there, you see. Actually, there's a there as well. So the C there. Um, Mine has a big tab across the yep, top that has a. the big letter A stamped perfect, into it. Perfect. That makes it easier. Yeah. And they try to make these as easy as possible. The international language with the letter A. Yep. <laughs> that on the international uh, alphabet, but that's okay. And be very careful. These are beam sabers. Hmm. Little beam sabers. Little red beam sabers for your 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 Gundam. Ooh. Very exciting. So okay, here's A. Here's E. So here's C, G1. So now I'm just putting them in order alphabetically. Just so I can have a better idea there. Now these are packaged in a specific order. Like what's on top is generally what you start with. Uh oh. But I personally prefer to have them in alphabetical order so I can get to them more, more logical. Um, it's totally up to you. Though. I there's like F, logic. There's D, A, D. Let's go F, with logical order. And then D, and that is. Little bits and bobs. Wow, lots of parts. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, this cool. one's tricky to get into. Mm. This must be the special pack. Ah, yes, interesting. Um, would you like a? I see you've got a tool there. I do. So this Precision. requires a little bit of uh, handy tools here. It, it often does. So what we've got here for assembly is we have our, our razor blade. <laughs> down, boy, down. <laughs> um, also got some needle, needle nose pliers that can be e uh, convenient getting these out of here. And we've also got some uh, basically wire cutters. So it's useful for getting in there and, and getting those uh, sprues off very, very uh, carefully. Sprue? Sprue, yeah. What's a sprue? The sprue is a little bit that, that uh, connects the part to the, the plastic frame. And we also have here somewhere um, sandpaper. Sandpaper. And so I have that right here. Go. Sandpaper. And so we'll use that if there are any uh, bits and bobs that are still attached. We're going to sand those uh, down to get nice, nice and, and nice smooth. And smooth. Now, to that point, if you don't plan to paint this, you got to kind of think about your sanding. Um, hmm. Sanding will obviously change the color of the piece a little bit. Oh, yeah. When you sand it down. So normally, if you're if you 
are experienced with this, you don't care because you're going to stand there, you're going to paint it all anyway. Um, but that is definitely something to kind of think about. Nice. All right, so we have our pieces out of our plastic, more or less. So the labels are going last. A little paint. And you'll see this is, I mean, that's about it. I mean, there, I got some, some, some labels, some extra decals. decals there. Yeah. Nice. So those go on the end. It'll be fun. So, All right. So now we can get on to starting our initial assembly. And what we've got here is in this case, so you'll see in mine, we start with G1. We need two parts of that. And PC, we need two parts of those. And the PC, I believe, hmm. is yes, this right here. This little, this little set of things right here is PC. Now these are the these these frames mm -hmm. feel like they're made of different styles of plastic. The PC ones mm -hmm. feel softer. Yeah. And here I have a frame F that's two forms of plastic as well. Right. right. So. so um, these PC ones are, I believe, they may be PVC, actually. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'll get beaten up by folks uh, by, by, for not having that answer. Um, but it is a plastic that basically um, uh, allows the joints to move more smoothly. So they'll so, connect in very, very nicely. So these these are not just a model kit, but a model kit that moves. Exactly. Yes. Very poseable. And with the multiple plastics, there's multiple mm. materials. Exactly. Nice. Yeah. It can be posed. It can be posed. Very posable. Yeah, you'll be able to put it in pretty much any pose you want. Hmm. So I'm just rubbing. Whoops! It just popped off and just <laughs> fell down. Of course it did. No, it's right there. It's right there. Never mind. <laughs> Keeping track of the pieces. Keeping track of the pieces. <laughs> that right there. Um, so I'm just sort of rotating these pieces to get them off. I'm just going one at a time. Hmm. So what's your first piece? So first my first part, number one, mm -hmm. is E16 and G2. And E17. All E16, right. 17, and G2. All right. So go ahead and find those parts. And... So E. 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 Uh, e. One other thing that I found is um, I needed Band-Aids. But generally in life. <laughs> Let's see. So E. There's my E16. G1. There's G1. I figure E16. Nice. And... Part two. Okay, so I'm popping off these, this bit here. And when you get, and when you get to a piece that has, it's on at multiple um, places. I like to just bend it over mm. and over again until it just pops right off. Uh huh. I have this is. I think is going to need some two of those. Yeah, that's going to need get some clippers. There we go. F D. C D one A A B C D. Okay, and that is going to need some sanding. P C G G two G one D two. So for those watching, e. like you can see in there, there are some significant bits where that came off. You can see like right there, where a bit of the spruce is still oh, on the there. Oh, the nub so of the wanna, plastic is yeah. not. It doesn't separate completely not, from the not frame not completely so i'm going to go ahead and just sand that off so a little bit of yeah. nipping this is also where it can be handy to have um mm. something like oh like a little snips a lot of little snips or you can use a razor blade like if it's if it's coming off you can slice it off. i'm fine it's sanded right off um but just as an fyi and that uh, same thing here i can even Clip that using snips that might get it off if I get the right angle on it. Again, you gotta kinda gotta decide how much damage you want to put to your plastic there in terms of the, the coloring, this coloring. But I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, I will grab a little set. There we go. Snips. Okay. And then, then actually, and that's that, the that same. Out. Yeah, that, that turned out quite there nice. There we go. Actually, I could take a little more off there. D E sixteen. That was a little bit like battle damage. 18, anyway, so sixteen and seventeen, right okay. there. So now I'm going to attach these two bits here. So now this is my first Gundam model. Yeah. And Very they fun. come in a variety of different sizes. They do. Hmm. And um, this is the smallest, the high grade. 
and they go up to I forget the name of the the largest. They they, they made like a um, uh, one that's like this tall, so it's really big. Um, but that was a one off. Uh, one off. They 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 sold it to the public, but um, they don't make a, a bunch of those. It's just the the original Gundam was the only one ever made of that size that I'm aware of. It goes high grade, then master grade, and then I think perfect grade. I think is is a really big complicated one. What's the size that I could fit in? <laughs> 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 Gotta go to Japan for that one, sadly. <laughs> All right, so there's so for those watching, all I did here was pop in these two pieces. So I now have these side bits on there. So that's, that's that first section, and then it's going to show you here. So I did that. So that then becomes this piece. I'm going to attach to C14 and G1, hmm. uh, G11. So let me find C14, A B C. That is yep, C14. Ah, uh, yes. And here's again a good pop it off. Oh, well, yeah, that sands there. out pretty easily once you get it on there. Yeah, yeah. And they are kind of designed that way. In fact, you'll see that the screws are very gently connected. They're very, very careful. They spent, they spent decades refining this. So Gundam models have been around for a number of years then. Yes, all the way back to the original Gundam series. Um, it was actually arguably one of the things that saved Gundam. Um, it was not hugely popular when it first came out, but when they um, uh, released the Gundam model kits, Bandai, the toy company that was licensed to do that, they just happened to be releasing was it G1? No. Um, they just happened to be releasing a um, a new set of model kits, plastic model kits that were extremely customizable. So folks got these G11, um, folks got these very customizable model kits. And because Gundam, as we talked earlier today, is more of a war story than it is a sort of a, a standard kid with a giant robot hero story. Hmm. Um, if you wanted to re, you know, do dioramas of major uh, moments in the series, you needed multiple kits. Wow. Um, you know, you wanted to, to, to show off these battles. and The whole lots of battle units. scene, yeah. Exactly. So there was a lot of des uh, desire and demand for lots of these model kits. Um, so the, the demand for that was enough to get people really um, um, interested in Gundam and, and get them funding for making more Gundam series. So, now, uh, yeah. now these, these kits don't require any glue. Correct. Yeah, no, you just put them together. Um, you could glue some parts together if you wanted to, hmm. um, but you want to be careful about doing that. I mean, if you if you if you're thinking of doing that, I would assemble the model kit first, hmm. and then disassemble it and glue the parts that you want to, because there's a lot of subtle motion in these, um, in terms of like allowing an arm to move in, in certain spots. Ooh. So sometimes if you glue together a part, it's going to be a little harder for that to move. Hmm. Um, but no, these are all snapped together, which is really nice. And of course, you can have very, very specialized equipment for this. Bondi's happy to sell you all that. <laughs> oh, that okay. snaps together quite easily there. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Got my first piece together. Nice. And Nicely done. Adding the special soft pieces. Mm -hmm. hmm. PC5. PC5. That would be this one. Yeah, the detail of these, of the, the giant robots, allows for a much more interesting and much more intricate kit, hmm. uh, which is also one of the appeals. And, yep, there goes the chest. It's not quite, there we go. So uh, this is this is this is a little bit more complicated than some of the younger folks would do, but mm. maybe. Uh, yeah, I'd say maybe eight years old. Eight years old? As a minimum, and then up from there. Again, it depends on the uh, on the kid. Some kids are going to... Take to it naturally. And yep. Just and for some of them, generally, you know, their, <laughs> their, their parent is going to be the one who really builds the kid. A good good uh, team, team effort exactly, there. Exactly, yeah. It's a fun thing just to kind of get your kid... Used to the idea of building things, putting things together. Oh. Adam Savage of MythBusters says he used to uh, do a lot of this stuff as a uh, as a kid. He was always building stuff. 